Hello. Today we will um, check the transistor characteristic curve with the help of the LT Spice simulation software. Uh, as uh, example, we will take the transistor as NPN, NPN transistor, and uh, we will see how the curve that is shown in the data sheet of the transistor matches with the simulation results of our LT Spice uh, DC operating point sweep analysis. So let's start. Here, uh, for example, we uh, select a BC547 transistor. So in this transistor, let's open its data sheet. PDF form. The transistor VC547 is shown here. And uh, if we see here is the typical characteristic curve of this transistor. So we will simulate this uh, typical characteristic curve, static characteristic curve of the transistor in LT Spice using the DC operating points sweep analysis. Here we have selected the NPN transistor and right click on this transistor and pick a new transistor. In here you can see that we have BC547 this transistor and set click OK. Now this transistor is converted into BC547. Now we will put the voltage sources. This would be our uh, VPE source, base to emitter voltage source, biasing source. And this would be the collector to emitter voltage source. Okay, as we all know that the uh, NPN transistor is the current control device. So, so for the biasing of the transistor, we have to have place our biasing resistor at the base of the transistor. So here we place the transistor resistor base resistor and connect it to the voltage source, biasing voltage source. This is the simple configuration and uh, the collector of the transistor I have just shorted it with the uh, VCE source right click on the right control and then uh, right click control plus right click here you can see we can change the name of the voltage source VCE we have selected the VCE voltage source just for our reference and ease and here we have we are going to rename it with VB okay so now we see the data sheet of the BC547 transistor as we can see that they are the base current is ranging from 50 micro ampere to 400 micro ampere with the increment of 50 microampere. So this is very easy to implement it in LT Spice with the help of uh, DC sweep source simulate. We, we go into the simulate option, drop down menu, edit simulation command and uh, we see here DC sweep. No transient, no AC analysis, DC sweep. DC sweep and we here our first source would be <coughs> of course uh, VBE we type here VBE and we select our type of the sweep analysis to be linear there 
Och så... Um, in the DC sweep, we start here from V, V, E and type of source is linear start value we select it from the data sheet as we can see that the data sheet says the base current iv means the base current but in our circuit diagram we have vve so this is a simple uh, ohms law and we will convert the vve to ib with the help of this resistor we need the base current to be 50 micro ampere at least so for 50 micro ampere for 50 micro ampere and at let's say 10 kilo ohm resistor 10 kilo ohm resistor our VBE would be base current multiplied by the resistor base resistor rb so 50 micro ampere multiplied by base resistance of 10k would be equal to Five hundred milliamp volt. Five hundred millivolt. Okay, so we will start from five hundred millivolt here. Go and simulation. Edit simulation command. DC sweep. VVE linear start value five hundred millivolt and our stop value would be from the data sheet again that is 400 micro ampere so for 400 micro ampere we would have multiplied by 10k Four, four thousand millivolt. So our stop value would be four thousand millivolt, and uh, with the increment of let's say we take the increment of five hundred millivolts. This is because the increment here is fifty microampere. You, as you can see, fifty, hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty microamperes. So 50 microampere is the increment and 50 microampere as we already calculated is equal to 500 millivolt BBE. So 500 millivolt is the increment. Now for the second source that would be uh, plotted across this would be VCE. VCE is a li um, linear sweep source we take here and start its value from zero let's say and we will go to the according to the data sheet to 20 volt vce 20 volt with the increment of as you can see the increment is 2 volt 2 4 6 8 10 so 2 volt increment and stop value is 20 start value is 0 volt so this is the dc sweep analysis of the bc547 transistor and we will plot the transfer characteristic curve as you will see okay so let's simulate let's see what happens mm, this is taking much time maybe yes I forgot to place the ground connection yes here is the ground connection common now let's simulate again 
okay now we will simulate the circuit again by placing the uh, ground connection here so now this shows the simulation window now let's check the uh, collector current of Q1 transistor as you can all see that it is written at the bottom left pane left click to plot ICQ1 so we are going to plot ICQ1 here ok so we have got the uh, ICQ1 transistor uh, transfer characteristic curve as you can see there are multiple curves this corresponds to the uh, sorry I think I have made a mistake uh, the first source should be VCE I think yes the first source should be VCE 0 volt 20 volt increment 2 volt and the second source should be VBE 500 millivolt 4000 millivolt and 500 millivolt now now let's see again what happens yes this is the nice beautiful curve we obtained this completely resembles to the this uh, uh, data sheet characteristic curve of VC547 NPN transistor as you can see as you can see that uh, at IB is equal to 400 micro ampere and at VCE equal to 6 volt the current through the collector that is IC is equal to 85 milli ampere so now let's check if it is really 85 milli ampere or not so let let's us select the curve at 4 uh, volt that is 4000 millivolt or 400 micro ampere IB here here we have selected this single curve now left click on it and the cursor um, will appear now you can drag this cursor at 6 volt exactly at 6 volt and check ok so the current we uh, here uh, see is 67 milliampere 67 milliampere current at 5.99 that is 6 volt this is the ICQ but according to the data sheet it is um, uh, it is uh, 85 milliampere as you can see this line this 6 volt 85 milliampere at IB 400 microampere so that is not a big uh, difference I think maybe this is because of the collector resistor I have selected one ohm so maybe because of this so that is nearly the same and uh, now let's again see all the views at once I selected all of them all of the VBEs ok click ok and here this is the transfer characteristic curve of, of BC547 transistor we have simulated in LT spice with the help of the BC547 transistor data sheet okay that is all from my side thanks for watching